Well, tonight, a Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church pastor is dead, and indications are tonight that he was killed by a woman who wasn't his wife. Pastor Perry lived in a Collierville apartment complex, Pastor Brodus Perry, the same complex where police say a double shooting killed a man and injured a woman. This is the story of Brodus Perry, a beloved 36-year-old executive pastor at Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church. Known for his compassion and charisma, Perry was a pillar in his community, dedicated to guiding and supporting others. However, on April 4, 2019, tragedy struck. Brodus Perry was ruthlessly attacked, sustaining multiple gunshot wounds to his head and torso. Despite valiant efforts, he succumbed to his injuries the next day in the hospital, leaving behind a community in shock and mourning. Join us on this episode of Urban Crime Stories as we unravel the events leading to Perry's untimely demise, piecing together the clues and exploring the impact of this senseless act of violence. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for future crime stories. Brodus' role extended far beyond the pool pit. He was a driving force in the church's efforts in assimilation and community outreach. Brodus's charismatic leadership and dedication to service made him a beloved and influential figure in the community. His impact was felt not only within the walls of the church, but throughout the neighborhoods of Memphis, where he tirelessly worked to bridge gaps and bring people together. Brodus' connection to Latasha Daniels dated back to their time in Little Rock, Arkansas, where they had developed a close friendship. This relationship was rooted in shared experiences and mutual support during their earlier years. Despite the distance and the passage of time, they maintained their bond often reflecting on their shared past. Concurrently, Brodus was deeply committed to his family life, especially to his wife, Tabitha Perry. Their marriage was a cornerstone of his personal life, providing him with a stable foundation and emotional support amidst his demanding career. However, Brodus' life took an unexpected and tragic turn on April 4, 2019. The day began like any other, but it ended in a way no one could have anticipated. The circumstances that unfolded brought shocking revelations and heartbreak, forever altering the lives of those who knew him. The events of that day did not only shake his immediate circle, but also send ripples through the wider community that he had so diligently served and inspired. On April 4, 2019, Latasha Daniels, a licensed social worker and the owner of Root Behavioral Health, made a fateful decision. Specializing in anger management, Latasha was well-versed in the complexities of human emotions, yet she found herself overwhelmed by the end of her relationship with Brodus Perry. Consumed by feelings of betrayal and heartbreak, Latasha drove to Brodus's home, determined to confront him about the pain he had caused her. The visit was unexpected and unsettling for Brodus and his wife Tabitha, who were unprepared for the intensity of Latasha's emotions. For about 20 minutes, the atmosphere inside the Perry household was fraught with tension as the couple tried to navigate the volatile situation. They listened as Latasha poured out her grievances, her voice laden with the anguish of a broken heart. Despite the strained nature of the conversation, Brodus and Tabitha remained hopeful that they could defuse the situation and offer some comfort to Latasha. As the night wore on, Latasha announced that it was late and she needed to leave. The couple, Relieved that the confrontation seemed to be ending, followed her to the door. Just as Latasha reached the exit, the situation took a horrifying and violent turn. Without warning, she stopped, turned around, and pulled a handgun from her coat. In a moment of pure devastation, she fired multiple shots at Brodus, her cries of, You broke my heart, echoing through the air. The scene was one of chaos and disbelief as Brodus fell to the floor, his life hanging in the balance. Tabitha, shocked and terrified, could do nothing but watch as the tragedy unfolded before her eyes. The immediate aftermath of the shooting was marked by a frantic scramble for help. An alarm was quickly raised, alerting the authorities to the violent act that had just occurred. The police arrived at the Perry's home within moments. Latasha was in the midst of reloading her gun with additional ammunition she had in her pocket when the Collierville police arrived. Faced with a volatile situation, the officers found Latasha still armed and refusing to relinquish her weapon. To neutralize the threat, an officer used a less lethal shotgun, causing Latasha to fall and drop her gun, thus averting further immediate danger. 
Brodus had suffered multiple gunshot wounds to his head and torso. Despite medical efforts, he succumbed to his injuries the following day at the hospital. Tabitha Perry, who had been shot in the left shoulder, survived the traumatic incident. In the aftermath, Tabitha told police she was unaware of any affair between her husband and Latasha. But the confrontation and Latasha's accusations led her to believe that there might have been one. Latasha was transported to Baptist Memorial Hospital in Collierville for treatment. Even in custody, she remained combative and initiated an altercation with the police officers at the hospital, complicating the situation further and showcasing her volatile state of mind. As Latasha was being discharged from the hospital and placed back into police custody, she attempted to escape. Jerking away from the officer who was handcuffing her, she shoved him and ran towards an exit. In the ensuing chaos, two officers tackled her to the ground. Latasha resisted fiercely, swinging wildly and striking one of the officers in the scuffle. Her desperate actions highlighted the severity of her emotional and mental state, underscoring the tragic nature of the entire incident. Latasha Daniels faced several serious charges. First-degree murder, attempted murder, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, resisting arrest, and assaulting a police officer. These charges highlight the severity of her actions and their profound impact on Brodus and Tabitha Perry, as well as the wider community. On April 23, 2019, Latasha appeared in a Shelby County courthouse for her first appearance, where she was informed of her charges. As she walked into the courtroom, she smiled and blew kisses at the courtroom crowd, showing a lack of remorse for her heinous act. Later on July 16, 2019, a Shelby County, Tennessee grand jury indicted Latasha Daniels in the shooting death of Brodus Perry. As of now in 2024, five years after the death of Brodus Perry, Latasha Daniels is currently awaiting trial. The legacy of Brodus Perry endures at Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church, where he is fondly remembered for his compassion, love, and dedication to community service. Perry's work in community outreach and integration has left a lasting impression fostering a spirit of unity and support among church members and the broader community. In closing, Brodus Perry's life, marked by compassion and leadership, was tragically cut short on April 4, 2019. His community mourns his loss and reflects on the senseless violence that took him from them. As Latasha Daniels awaits trial, Brodus' legacy of unity and service remains a beacon of hope, urging us to embrace compassion and strive for a world where love triumphs over tragedy. What are your thoughts about this case? Please share your thoughts in the comments down below. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any future crime stories. Your support is greatly appreciated. Until next time, I will see you with another episode of Urban Crime Stories.